All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studio, and I wanted to do a little quick product review for you. Uh, this is a little handgun safe made by a company called AllSafe, A-W-E-S-A-F-E, -E, and it was sent to the channel for uh, testing and uh, just a review and so you guys can see what it's looking like. I'm going to put a link down below on Amazon. Uh, just to be honest with you, this thing is about $109, and I am pretty sure it's made overseas. Uh, but in any case, uh, I thought it was a really cool deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the operations of it. So I guess what you could do, it has a mounting bracket like this. And you can mount it on your side table, on your bed frame, on your wall. Uh, and it's pretty neat in that it secures to this guy right here. And then what you do is you can screw holes through the opposite side from one end to the other with some screws and makes it pretty secure. Now, is this gonna take the place of your big old Liberty safe? No, but it is going to give you some sense of security that little hands and uh, little fingers and neighborhood kids aren't gonna be able to get into your firearm that's normally sitting in the bottom drawer of your nightstand. <laughs> So anyway, there's three different ways that you can go ahead and open this thing. One is with a key, one's with a passcode, and the other one is with your fingerprint. Let's see if it'll work. There you go. So just like that. Now I've already gone ahead and pre-programmed it. It's very simple to program. There's a little button, we'll go ahead and right underneath here. And the cool thing is, you can see there's a light, so you've got a little blue light. Uh, out of order, but I will tell you this, one of the best parts about this thing is that it doesn't have the beep, 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 beep. So when somebody's walking up your stairs, you can just go ahead and do that right there. Reach in there and grab your Glock 19X. And if anybody ever wonders what I carry for my EDC, it is this guy right here. <laughs> and nasty, but reality, I do carry some happy sticks in the door of my car. You never know. So in any case, uh, the inside of it is lined with foam, as you can see right here. Uh, really neat little deal. I would add a little bit of foam in here, and because the firearm is clear, um, I would go ahead and add some foam so I wouldn't have to reach all the way in, and it would just capture that. But here's the deal. Um, there's a battery compartment back here. Now I will tell you this, that battery is a nine volt battery. I don't know how long it lasts, but it was a bitch feeding that cable back up in there. I tried to fold it up in there and do whatever, but if you just hint, if you were watching this video, feed the wire back up into the opening in there, uh, and then press it up and there's a little door right here that goes there. Now, it does come with two keys. I read, a, uh, I read a lot of the reviews on Amazon so that if I see something bad, like if I honestly see it, there's like one star for the whole entire product, I won't even put it on video. This thing had a lot of five stars. One guy said he couldn't find a key. Um, one key's in a separate packet and it is sitting right here. And then the other key is in this packet with the screws. Now, a little word to the wise, I would never use uh, wall anchors with this thing. I'd go ahead and find a stud and anchor it to a stud if at all possible and I would not use these screws that are in here simply because, uh, well, I, will, I want some big old uh, pan head screws that are a little bit bigger and thicker than this guy's right here and a little longer. But instructions were easy to read. All you got to do to program this guy, let's see, we'll test it again. Ta -da. There's a little button on the in here and you hold and press that down once and for the key part over here you press the number one and then you enter the code that you want when you want to do your fingerprint either fingerprint will work you press that again you press two until some lights flash and then you put your fingerprint on there and you read it you read it and read it and eventually it'll get it now watch this let's put my middle finger on there put my thumb on there uh put that finger on there index finger <laughs> there we go. Um, and I like the index finger because what I could do is in the event something is going on, I can just reach down there, press that on there like that, and I can bring that drawer down without a problem. Now, the cool thing about the drawer is it does have this rubber bumper down here on the bottom. Um, made of aluminum or cast metal, I'm not sure exactly what the hell it is, uh, but you know, for something that you want to keep your firearm put away out of the hands of little kids, this is a good, responsible way of doing that. Uh, 
I'm not worried about my kids. I'm just worried about, I got some neighborhood kids that come in the house and those are kids that I'm worried about because they probably don't have parents who have firearms. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, this does retail for $109. I'll put the link down below. That's pretty cool. There you go. And it is a, let's see how it flies. Pretty neat. And you can fit a wide variety of firearms in here. I'm guessing uh, anything that's maybe an inch longer than the 19X, which this is a 17 slide. Uh, no, 19 slide, 17 grip. This is, is by far my favorite pistol for carry. I love this thing. All right, with that being said, guys, um, yeah, all safe. Not a bad deal. And uh, I'll go ahead and mount this up and we'll continue to test it out. If you got any questions or you want to know how it works out in a couple of uh, days or months or whatever, give me an email. Go to 32 at gmail.com. And don't forget to check out uh, kb32tac.com, my website. Uh, one of these days I'll get around there to checking it out, but there are links over there for uh, a lot of discounts and stuff like that. And also, if you haven't noticed, I changed the name of the channel to KB32 because everybody wondered what a coda is, <laughs> and it was my dog. But uh, KB32 is because everybody just calls me KB. Y'all be good. Always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who will support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Y'all be good. Oh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.